What is up my dragonflies, my kings and queens, and welcome back to another video. And I hope and I know everyone had an amazing day. We're back with Wine Steens Entertainment and this is two true horror stories animated. So sit back, relax, get comfortable, don't get too scared. This Halloween season. And if you're new, if I didn't say it yet, my name is Jai. Welcome, so get comfortable, get your snacks and all of that. Let's watch. This happened when I was 14 years of age. My house was situated in the suburban area right next to a dense forest. We had a balcony facing the forest with a glass door from where we could see into the darkness of the forest. Okay. One night my parents had to attend a meeting and wouldn't be back until midnight. So basically I was home alone with my brother who was 11 at the time. We had our dinner and went to bed around 8 p.m. Our rooms were upstairs while the balcony and the entrance were downstairs. It was around 9.30 p.m. when I was scrolling through my phone that I heard a screeching sound from outside my room. I shrugged it off thinking it was the neighbor's cat or something. Exactly five minutes after that, I heard the same the neighbor's screeching cat sound actually louder this time. I immediately checked up on my brother who was sound asleep. I went downstairs and found out that it was coming from the direction of the balcony. And when I walked towards it, the sound got louder. I walked closer and took a look at the glass door. What I saw shook me to this day. There were two men. One of them was cutting the other's arm and using his blood to write something on the glass with the same knife. Exactly at that moment, when they saw me, both of them started banging on the door. I was paralyzed with fear. And in spite of that, I ran to my brother's room and shook him up. He saw the fear in my eyes. We jumped from the window of his room. Luckily, it was on the first floor. We heard the sound of glass shattering as we jumped. Both of us ran until we reached the neighbor's house and called the cops. The cops arrived 20 minutes later. All of us went back to our house to check what had happened. I explained everything to the cops and they searched the whole house but found absolutely nothing except for the broken glass door. I still don't know to this day what would have happened if I hadn't been alert enough and what those men planned on doing with us. Mm -hmm. True. This happened to me yesterday. I'm Darshana and I'm 13 years old. I'm a girl that loves to go on adventures. Hey. I love soccer and dance, and I've won a lot of awards for them. My building is a six-story building, so we had a dental clinic on the first floor. So they had to go down where the tools were kept, and there was a short circuit in the building, and a fire happened. And all the tenants in the building ran out. The police and firefighters came to help, and they rescued four people from the top floors. So me, my brother, and four friends, we were just a little away from the group, and I'm the biggest among all of them. And when I was walking, I saw a shadow, but what it looked like someone was chopping something and eating something, so I decided to take a closer look. When I went closer, I was shocked, as there was an old man, and he was usually the one who played with us, and everyone loved him. But after we saw him, we looked down and saw our friend's dead bodies, mm -mm. fully chopped and half-eaten. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Then he looked up at us, took the knife, and licked the blood from the knife. And as I said previously, I love adventures, what a kung so I tried my level best to fight him. And he was really strong, and I'm a girl. And he thought he could defeat me, but he didn't. Just a little, I got stabbed, and he tried to run behind my brother to kill him. But I threw a stone and kicked him and punched the face of that bloody old man. Yeah. We tied him up and then showed the police. They were all surprised that I had found the most wanted criminal. They congratulated me. But by the time I fainted and the next time I opened my eyes, I saw myself in the hospital. They all thanked me for saving their children's lives. I just got out of the hospital. I hope he never comes back. Girl, you're a fighter. You're a real, real fighter. Combat skills on 10, on a thousand, baby. On a thousand. So that was once entertainment. Scary videos for you. Little nice videos, you know. Nice, short, and sweet. Nice. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video, and I hope everyone's had an amazing day. We are back with the once entertainment, and this is True Camping Horror Stories Animated. Another video for you guys, and. Sit back, relax, get your snacks, and let's get into it. Open the frame. Frame. Okay. 
Hi, I am a big fan of your YouTube videos and I have a story to tell. Please keep in mind that I want to stay anonymous since I don't like to be in the spotlight, if you know what I mean. I can tell you that I am a female from Norway. Sorry if my English is a little odd, but I hope you understand my writing. I also hope you like my story and please let me know what you think about it. This story happened when I was 14 years old. I went on a camping trip with my ninth grade class plus two teachers to a lake. On the day of the camping trip, we rode our bikes from our school to the area. Later on, we were going to canoe down the river to our campsite. There were two people in each boat, and I was paddling with one of my classmates. She was nice and all, but we weren't exactly close friends. To give you a picture of our campsite, imagine being surrounded by trees in a thick forest. You can also see a tiny island in the middle of the lake from the shore. When you walk over a bridge, crossing a tiny river, there is a cottage nearby, where I assume someone lived. At least, that's what my teachers told me. We were all going to put our stuff in our tents and prepare everything with our tent buddies. A random cottage. The tents had already been set up by the other ninth grade class, since they had been camping at the same spot earlier. I was sharing a tent with one of my best friends, plus two other girls. Later on, we were going to start up a fire, eat lunch, and do whatever we wanted afterwards. Some were canoeing, and others went exploring in the woods. Me and my best friend went canoeing for some time and explored the area. Later on, we hung out by our tent to relax for a bit before dinner. After we ate dinner, we played some games with our teachers, and then we discussed the rumors about the dog as we sat around the fire. There were rumors about a three-legged stray dog who was walking around the area. Some people admitted that they had seen it, but not everyone believed it. I wasn't sure myself if the rumors were true or not. Well, I kind of believed in ghosts and things like that during that time, but I still wasn't 100% sure. Not before. I remember I was watching this show called Lost Tapes, and one of the uh, episodes where it was like a, I think it was Hellhound, like something like that. And they say if you see it, you you die, something like that, something like that. But mm, Lost Tape, where it was kiki for me, but it was scary for me. For that Just a little side note. The rumor said that the stray dog belonged to a hunter who went missing some time ago. No one found his body, and it's been said that his dog was still looking for him. No one knows what really happened to the hunter, or if he was still alive. Oh. Yet, some of us got more scared as it got darker outside. This was in September, so it got darker a little earlier than in the summer. Mm -hmm. Sometime after talking about the dog, we heard a splash in the water. It was dark already, so we couldn't really see much. Everyone started screaming, and someone wanted to run. One of my classmates thought that it would be funny to prank us by throwing a stone in the water just to make us think that the hunter was coming up from his watery grave or something. My heart was beating like crazy. That was not a funny joke in my opinion. After we started to calm down, we continued to play games around the bonfire. Later that night, before going into our tents to sleep, our teachers ordered us to stay inside our tents. No one was allowed to leave their tents and explore in the dark. After saying goodnight to our teachers, we remained outside our tents for some time before going to bed. Of course, some of us were still a bit shaken up from that rock in the water trick. Mm -hmm. Later on, we called it a night and everyone went to sleep in their tents. I had a little conversation with my friend before we went to sleep. During the night, I could hear a dog sniffing around outside our tent. I got a little scared because the dog sounded pretty real to me. Now I knew that the dog was no myth. I moved a little closer to the pole in the middle of the tent since I was scared that the dog was going to touch me from outside while I was under the covers or something. Keep in mind mm. that our tent was big and looked like a teepee similar to what the Native Americans lived in. It had a long pole inside in the middle of the tent that held the tent up. Still, what happened next? was even more terrifying than the sniffing sounds of the dog. It. After a little while, I tried to sleep again. It wasn't easy. 
I'd been asleep for some time when I woke up to something or someone touching my head. I got startled and sat up to see what touched me. I spun around for a few seconds to see what it was, but nothing was there. I don't know why, but not long after, I looked at the other side of the tent. What I saw made my heart stop. Girl, what? The dog? There was a shadowy figure outside our tent. Oh. It was a male with a fishing hat on. He didn't even move. He stood completely Why still. Why you gotta mess with me? Statue. Don't mess with me. Mess with somebody else. One thing that you should know is that we had one male teacher with us on the trip, but I'm sure he wasn't wearing fisherman clothes. I froze. My friend woke up, too, not long after I saw the figure. She had the same reaction as me, sitting there, frozen on the spot. I don't know how, but me and my friend tried to go to sleep despite seeing the shadowy figure. Take some deep I couldn't breath. sleep for the rest of the night. I pretty much waited for the sun to rise while I was laying in my sleeping bag. The next morning, I went outside our tent to see if there was a bush or something that would make a human shadow of a fisherman. But when I came to the spot, I saw it. There was only a little bit of a mountain that made a wall, and the height was up to my shoulders. There was no bush, no sticks, or anything. Hmm. Only the rope that held the tent up. I got even more confused. How could it have been bright enough to see a shadow in the middle of the night if it was just a mountain wall there? No one was supposed to leave the tent during the night either, and no one could stand there like a statue without moving a muscle. Nothing made any sense about the situation. Did I see the ghost of the hunter that went missing some time ago? Maybe the rumors were true. I didn't tell anyone about the incident. Not my teachers or my classmates. I only spoke about it to my friend, who'd also witnessed it a couple days later. The others would probably make fun of me, or think that I just made it up if I told them. I don't know if my friend thought it was a dream or something, but she didn't seem too startled when I spoke to her about it after we came back from the trip. I can tell you that I am sure I was fully awake that night. I am 21 years old now, but I still remember that incident clearly. Sometimes I still think about what would have happened if I went outside the tent that night. They would have taken you. Yeah, so that was... That story wasn't like scary, scary. It wasn't. It was um. Chilling, creepy. Yeah, when these ghosts, when you talk about these ghost stories, they're bound to show up. Yes. So thank you guys for doing this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, other wonderful stuff, and remember to have the most awesome, positive day. Stay grateful, stay blessed, and until next time, you guys.